Hello crafty friends. After many, many requests, I'm going to show you how I make the aged tape that I've used in my projects recently. I would like to add a disclaimer that this is not my idea. I did not come up with this. There are many videos on YouTube that show how it's made, but from my investigation, I do believe that Ephemera's Vintage Garden was the first person to come up with this idea. So full credit to her on a brilliant idea. You will need some kind of surface to apply your scotch tape to. I'm using a plastic sleeve that you can get from a stationery store. You could use a piece of wax paper or even a piece of acetate. Something that when you stick your scotch tape down, you can then lift it off again. And then you're going to add your tape in strips across the surface. I call it scotch tape. It's also known as sticky tape or cellar tape, depending where you're from. I think it's good to make quite a big amount of it so that you have it handy for all the projects. I'm using it basically in everything since I started making it. It is a little bit addictive. And then to add the color, you specifically need alcohol inks. I don't know if it works with any other kind of ink. I haven't tried it, but it is done with alcohol inks. I bought this little three pack online. The colors are latte, ginger, and caramel you don't need all three they just came in a three pack so i'm using all three you could have just one color and then you're going to add a few drops over the sticky tape and then i'm just using a little cotton wool swab to spread it over you could also use your blender or a blending brush or a blending sponge just a few drops and then i'm adding the other colors in droplets and allowing it to react as alcohol ink does and it makes beautiful patterns you can dab that down or you can leave the patterns whichever way you like to do it now you will need some patience with this because it does need to dry naturally overnight from my experience trying to dry it with a heat gun or a heat tool will just make the stickiness of the scotch tape less sticky and then when it's dry you will have this and you'll peel it back and you'll see the beautiful designs and that aged color on the tape let me add it into my junk journal to show you how it looks on the paper you really can add it anywhere i like adding it between two pages in the spine area across as if the book has been taped over the years because it's falling apart i just love that look and I'm going to add it like that now just to show you. But if you had to add, for example, a little journaling card, you could add it at the top and the bottom as if it's been like held down with the tape. But look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? And it looks really aged and worn and like it's been through many, many years in this book. I really hope you enjoyed this really quick video on making aged tape and were inspired to create your own. It's really, really fun and I'm actually going to try it with additional colors when my alcohol inks arrive. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I would love if you subscribed and also hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Happy creating. I'll see you again soon. Bye.